Good morning, guys. It is Monday, and Sophie just made a smoothie. A smoothie. She just did her own smoothie. What do you got in that, baby? Let's see. I got pear. Pear. Apple. Apple. Strawberries. Strawberries. She used all the strawberries. And what did you use for your liquid to blend it all Orange up? Orange juice. Orange juice. Is it good? Yeah. That's awesome. You guys try it. Did I just do that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's Monday. It's already in 20 after 9. Anyway, the girls are at homeschool. We are winding down with homeschool, you guys. We have like literally oh, a week left. They are winding down. Anyway, remember the other day I was complaining about the clothes that my kids pick out to wear and um, I figured out the best solution ever. I've just been like culling junk out of their closet, stuff that I don't ever want them to wear and then they have to pick different stuff and Gabby picked the cutest little outfit, put it together herself today so I'm going to show you guys right now. Outfit of the day, Sophie. Sophie's got her smoothie on and she's got this cute little shirt from Justice, one of her favorite stores, and she paired it with some black capri. Did I pick out your outfit for you? No, you picked it out yourself? And I see she's sporting some old purple lips. <laughs> ah, I see, she's got her Lip lipstick. Yeah. Color changing what lipstick. This is color change lipstick that she got for Christmas. See, it's blue in there, and then purple plum on her lips. No, because <gasps> uh -oh. she's warm now. Purple when she's warm. Okay. Outfit of the day, Gabby. Yeah. Gabby is sporting this adorable shirt that has a little vest that goes with it and it's got lace on the bottom and she paired it and with- And lace on the back. And lace on the back. Oh yeah, that's super cute. And then it, it goes with this little sweater and then she paired it with these shorts that have lace on the bottom. So do a twirl. Oh wait, I wanted you to see the bottom of it. Do it again, because the bottom of the shirt, can you guys see how it's scalloped like that? Super cool, and her accessory today is a horse. And why did you bring this horse? Because I made it. So look at you guys, Gabby. I made it for a Schleich horse. It didn't fit? It didn't fit him, and so, so she I made. put it on for Yeah, so what is this? What is this? This is, um, this is a Briar model. Okay. Her so name's Echo. Echo. And she's, um, I think part Arabian, but I, she's like Arab. Arabian? So, I put this so she made this halter, that's what it's called, a halter, and is this the lead rope? I just took it right there. Isn't it adorable? Like seriously. And I just attached like a lunch line that we just made out of like a necklace. That, that is cool. That is super cool. If you guys are wondering why I never have any necklaces on anymore, mm -hmm, it's because some people use my necklaces to make halters and lead ropes for horses, right? Anyway, she already told me that when it's time for, um, so they do independent reading every day and then we read together. When it's read together time, she already told me that she's got everything ready. She's going to be making, oh, I'll find a book. You have lots on the hey, shelf. No, stand Not in front, front of me. me. Um, so basically, Gabby finished her last Stacy Gregg book. Do you guys read Stacy Gregg? Anyway, she only wants to read Stacy Gregg, and we can't find any of the other books at our store. So I have to go online. If I remember, I'll do it right now and in a few minutes, and I will order her the next two books that she needs. Okay, guys. What is happening here? Blast off. Whoa! <laughs> you blasted off, mummy. <laughs> I love it and I'm gonna actually make another one that fits her. I like it too because that color, that pink color totally goes matches. White, yeah, it totally goes with her. Like and she gray. matches your well, beautiful outfit. <laughs> oh, I could actually add lace to it. Yeah, that would be, that. yeah, cool. Speaking of books and Gabby and her Stacey Gregg books, the craziest thing happened to me. When Gabby was almost four, it was early like March, so she was gonna be four in a, like another month. When she was early four, um, I got this book from the library and I don't remember what it was called and I read it to her and she made, it was the very first chapter book that I ever read to her, like real chapter book and she was in love with it. It kind of scared her a little, but she was fascinated. She sat by me and did not even move the whole time I read the story. And then 
I thought, oh, I'll always remember the title of that. No, I never remember the title of it. I wanted to read it to Sophie and I wanted to read it to Gabby as she got older again and because it was so good. I've asked every librarian at our, at our, at our library. I've told them about what this story is about. Nobody knows what it is. So yesterday, fast forward six years. Fast forward six years later, I'm still wandering about this book and wanting to get it for my kids. And we're at a yard sale yesterday and I buy a bunch of books. No big deal. I come home and this morning I'm planning out their day, their curriculum, their work for the day. And I pick up this book and I start reading through it. And isn't it the book that I've been wanting for six years? So today I'm gonna read this book to them. It is so good. It's about these two little boys I already know exactly what it's about because I've told so many people. Um, it's about these two little boys that um, their mom died last year and this is their very first Christmas without her. And the big boy, the older boy, goes to the barn to um, do his chores on Christmas Eve and when he's there, him and his dog um, get chased by a bear. Anyway, it is so good. It has a very strong spiritual... Um, aspect to this book and, and I love it I'm so glad I found it and God I know God brought this book back into my life because I've been praying about it and praying about it and I'm just so grateful things I love about our channel are is that new series that we are doing the getting to know us series I guess I should say that I'm doing because I'm the only one who's made videos for it but wouldn't it be awesome if Sam did a video a getting to know us video I think that would be fun Gabby made lemonade and then just left which is what happens at my house all the time. Anyway, I just made a video for our Getting to Know Us series and it's gonna be a Father's Day version and it's the story of how I met Sam. And most of you guys probably don't know, but I met Sam like 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago um, on the internet, way before internet dating was a thing way back when the people that you met on the internet were all crazy people and serial killers. So yeah, that's that's how I met Sam. But you gotta hear the whole entire story and that video will be up really soon. I'm gonna try and edit it tonight and get it up for tomorrow. But yeah, I'm super excited about it. It was super fun. All right, you guys, we are at the horse barn and we are a little late, so we gotta speed. Speed it up, Sam. Never gonna get used to that smell, honestly. Walk out of the door, whoosh, just hits you in the face. Come on, come here. Monday, yeah. One, two, three horses today. Whoa, this guy looks scary. Hi, buddy. I think he's sleeping. Yeah, hurry up. Get him get him ready. You're late. We'll go find his bridle. We're late. Can you believe you just were riding two days ago and you get to ride again today? Yeah. I want you to make him go fast today. Don't let him go slow. Every time he goes too slow. Quiet. You use your legs. Sophia. 
And as for trotting, ladies, nice big circle riding so she stays trotting. Hands together. As we're trotting, girls, we're going to start to work on our rising diagonal. So a little rhyme we like to remember. We rise and we fall with the leg on the wall. So you're going to take a look down at your horse's front legs while you're going up and down. Can you see them going forward and backwards? Can you see his shoulders moving, Sophia? Okay. So what we want to do, ladies, is look down, and you're going to tell me which one of your horse's legs is going forward when you stand up. Look at both of them. So both of us, if we look at our left leg, ladies, the left leg is going forward when we go up and backwards when we sit down. So look at the leg towards the jump, the leg closest to the jump. That is the one that is right now going forward and backwards when we go up and down. Can you see that? So if we want to go up and down with the leg on the wall, we're gonna have to change it, right? So we're gonna have to sit in our saddle for two bumps. It's very quick, but we sit, one, two. So can you give it a try, ladies? Sit, one, two. Good, you both did it perfectly. Try again. And one more time. One, two, perfect. Now stay rising. Lean a little bit forward, ladies. Bring your legs back. So now I want you to look down and you should be going up with the leg on the wall when it goes forward. Which means when you sit, the leg on the wall is disappearing. When you stand up, it's going up in front. Does that look correct? All right, I want you to memorize what that looks like. Okay, because you look gross. You look like you're So we've started trying. What's the first thing we're gonna check? That's right, it's called our rising diagonal. So we're going up and down with the leg on the wall or not. And if we're not, that's okay. We just have to sit for two bumps. Gabby and Blue again. I swear you just come here just so you can spoil Blue and give him lots of attention. Hi, Blueberry. What are you doing? Chores? Yeah. Every corner. That's her job. I like it. I kind of like it. You like it? Yeah. So. Nope. Oh. Look at all that hair. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah. Not my job. Well, that's her job. Not my job. Probably should have worn flip flops, though. Nope. Don't let the horse step on your foot. It's going to poop. Uh oh. I better move. This horse just got closer to me. Look. Just got closer to me. Gabby, what are you doing? Still brushing him? I don't think you can brush him any more than he did. What are you doing? Keep braiding the horses. 
Why do you keep braiding them for? What? It's a morning gale. Martin Gale. See, it was close. It was close. Blue, you're getting all the attention here. Getting all the attention. I have a question. Why do you pull a horse's hair? These little girls over here, Maine. Or why do you pull a horse's hair? Um, because for shows, when we braid, we can't have it so long because we have to button it up. And if the buttons are floppy everywhere, Oh, so it's just to make them look good for the show. Yeah. Oh, got it. You know, Sophia's seven and she's actually doing it. She's doing a really good job, I think. I noticed a huge change in her. Dad, she wants to eat the camera. Oh. Let's go. Attack the horse. Come on, let's go. Dad. I'll take her saddle. You take her girth and... Take the bag. And everything. Oh no. Crawl on the other side. Crawl on the other. Who do we see? Who's here? Otis. Oh, he has horns. Otis. So, like, yeah, he's got some big horns, eh? Right here. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Otis. That now. Is he eating? And he drinks bottles. I fed him three bottles. You fed him three bottles? Three, I mean two full bottles. Three, I mean two oh, full I'm bottles. So big. And um, three oh. fourths. Of hey, a Otis! It's gotten so big! No, he wants to He's gonna poop on you, Sophia. Oh, yeah, nice. he's gotten big. All right, take a bye. We'll see him later. Yes, I think Sophie is doing so well. She's seven, and she has never been able to do as much as she, like this. Teacher is really putting her through it, and she's looking so much better to me. Is she looking better to you? Yep. Yeah, she's doing awesome. I'm so glad we switched barns. Anyway, um, what do you guys want to see at the barn? Every time we go there, I never know what we should video there. We video them riding. We video them kind of grooming and stuff. What, we don't want to vlog the other people's other people's kids that are there. But what do you guys want to see when we're at the barn? Gabby is not joining a group lesson for a couple more weeks until she does that. We can't do um, her root barn routine. We will do that when she's in a group. Um, yeah, so we just want to know what you guys want us to vlog guys, at the barn. Um, that pony might look like he's going slow on camera, but he's actually going like a bullet. Like as fast. Yeah, that guy was going so fast today. Is that the guy you, you don't usually ride that one, right? No. Yeah, she loved it. Did you she love it? She fell off of him. Is that the one you fell off of last time? Yeah. Ah, I see. All right, you guys, we are gonna end today's vlog. When we get home, these girls are gonna have to have a bath. Even I'm gonna have to have a bath because I was uh, brushing horses and I'm starting to really like horses, you guys. I feel like I want a horse now. You should get one because like, then um, once I'm done riding and doing my horse, then feeding, doing everything for my horse, I could actually go and ride your horse just like a cool little ride. If I get a horse, I want to ride my own horse. Yeah. All right, you guys. We're going to end today's vlog, but we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.